everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a video of me testing and using the Turner acryl gouache uh, paint set so I have a 25th anniversary um, Evangelion paint set and I also have the Japanese uh, paint set as well so I will be uh, unboxing even though I've already opened them I'll be opening them and I will be swatching all the colors and then I will be making a painting with them so let's get started with the Evangelion set uh, the set is made with two original colors so this is the poster and this is the first color, Ayanami Blue, a pearlized version and a version that has gel medium in it. So next I'm going to be swatching each color. So I'm just getting my palette ready and some brushes. And I'm going to start with the first one, so Ayanami Blue. This is what all the paints look like in the palette before using them. And now let's get into swatching. So I'm just wetting my brush first. And let's use the first color. So this color is matte and very opaque as acrylic gouache uh, paints are. So this one was really nice and smooth. Now for the pearlized version, this one is a beautiful color, very very shiny um, and it can be built up in layers. And for the gel medium one, this one uh, was kind of hard to swatch, but um, I did make a painting with this one and also the pearlized version. Uh, I will put a link, I will put a picture in the video showing the painting. Uh, I wish I got a time lapse of that because I'm really, really proud of that painting but I used this gel medium version uh, of the paint and it gave me a glass effect which is what I needed for that particular painting. So these are all the swatches of the Evangelion set and now we are going to swatch the Japanese paint set. So this paint set uh, it came with a cute little bag and a little pamphlet so we're going to look at the pamphlet. Uh, so it's the Turner Chairman bag set made in Japan and the set that I have is the Nagomi set. Uh, these are all the sets that they have available for this and I really like the milk paint sets. I kind of want to get those and try them out. Um, if you would like to see a video on that let me know and I will get a few colors and I can make a video on those as well. So this is the pamphlet explaining all the sets, showing all the colors, and it also goes into the material that is used for the bag, and it also goes through the differences of the Japanese uh, paint sets and also the milk paint sets. So this is the bag that it comes in. It's a very beautiful material. Um, it's a really beautiful pattern. And now we will look at what these paints do. So they dry, they paint almost evenly. They are fast drying, uh, dries to a matte film, extremely versatile. The color spreads out smoothly and it has a coarse texture. Um, and on the bottom here you can see all the materials that you can paint on and it also gives you some tips uh, during use. And for the milk paints, they are modestly sized, there's 10 new colors, it is organic, they're made from uh, raw materials from milk 
they are creamy and spread out smoothly and dries to a matte film and is water resistant. So I really love the colors uh, in this line and I hope I can try those out soon. So that is the pamphlet and now we will open the bag and take a look at the colors. So this is, these are just the tags that are on the bag and now let's get to seeing the colors that we got. So they come neatly packaged in this uh, little plastic bag. So let's take a look at some of the colors and that is a gold tube that I got separately. So I'm just going to be opening the bag now and the first color is this beautiful white color. Next color is Japanese strong orange. This color is Japanese deep pink. Japanese pale blue. Japanese green light. And finally Japanese lilac and then the color the gold tube that I got is Japanese blue gold so these are all the paints and now we are going to swatch these ones so this is what the uh, paints look like when dried uh, from the Ayanami set and first color we are going to swatch is the blue gold so I'm just going to take a dollop of it and uh, just use my brush to spread it out. And I really, really love this gold. It has quickly become one of my favorite paints to use for a gold highlight. Uh, I've used it for quite a lot of my paintings. The next is the uh, Japanese white. It's not called that, it's actually called something else. Um, but I will have all the color names in the description box. But this is a very beautiful white as well. It's kind of like a bit of an off-white. Uh, and I use it in the speed paint after this uh, swatch. So you can see here in the light that um, it has a nice tone to it. Next color is the orange and this is a very vibrant orange. It's a very beautiful color. Uh, I haven't used this one yet but I will find a way to use it. <laughs> and the next color is the deep pink and I really love this pink as well. It's kind of like a blush tone. The next color is the pale blue which is also a beautiful color and I think it complements the Evangelion set really well and the next color is the light the green light uh, color and this one's also very vibrant it's a beautiful green and the next color is the lilac which is another favorite of mine I really like how they curated this set and I think all the colors work beautifully together so this is what they look like and you can see that they do have a coarse texture. Um, I'm using a mixed media sketchbook and I like that the texture picks up on the paper. And now let's go on to the speed painting portion. So this is a Drawtober uh, prompt and the prompt was magic so I decided to paint some magical girl wands from the anime card captor Sakura. I watched this anime as a kid when anime used to give on used to show on YTV so I used the Ayanami blue for the background, uh, the deep pink for the wands, gold for the stars and I used some other acryl acrylic gouache paints that I have because I have another set and now I'm just fine lining uh, and adding detail to the rest of the painting. Um, I didn't like how the bottom looked so I just repainted it. So this is what the painting looks like after it's done and the other painting that I did as well and I'll show you the other paintings. 
So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the swatches and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.